So in this video we'll uh, do a new topic, it's called scatter plots. So we break the two terms, plot is something that you plot a location or coordinate. So we know there's a graph that is involved. And scatter means like just the term scatter. So it's haphazard, it's erratic or all over the place. So when we look for a transition, let's say a transition line. So we might want points like this in a straight line. So you end up getting a straight line. But we end up getting maybe a scatter plot. Maybe something like this. So you can draw a line through these set of points. So that's what a scatter plot is. That what, that's what we will uh, be studying in our uh, topic. Okay. Let's delve in a little more. So uh, normally all the data that we considered was in one variable earlier. Now we'll consider data in two variables. That is called bivariate data. So by represents two. So whenever you see the term by, remember that it will be related to something about two. Okay? Bisect is one simple word. Bicameral, like the government, is in uh, two, two parties, right? Bipartisan, you must have heard some of these words. Bipartisan referring to the Democrats and Republicans. So you see there's bi, bisect, again has a bi, right? So this has a bi over here, bivariate. So two variables, all right? So that's the data we will be looking at. For example, like let's say we took uh, the temperature in our town and we'd look at the days like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then the temperature could be anywhere, right? Any value. Sometimes it's the same. And at other times it might be different. So let's just take some random values. Let's say if uh, we've got 50, 60, 70, right? So on Monday the temperature is 60, then on Tuesday it's 70. And then again on Wednesday it's 60, and then it's 60 again, and then 57 and a half. So if we were to talk about the average temperature of this area, what could we identify? We know that it's between the 50 and 70 range, but what else can we say? So that's where uh, we will be discussing bivariate uh, data representations. So we can either get a positive correlation or a negative correlation or no correlation between the two points. That is uh, what our discussion will be about. So in a positive correlation, so in this case, as x increases, y increases. So for example, if I had something like increasing this way, right, something like this. So a line that I could use would be somewhere, so the line would be somewhere here. So we are trying to identify a line that represents most of the data pointers or set. Okay, so we are trying to look for a region where the points are as close as possible to this line. That's the idea. 
So we look for this line. This line is called the line of best fit. Or it's also called the trend line. So trend line or line of best fit. These are the names for it. So that's what we'll try to find out. Uh, in the Regents exam, they made a lot of things much easier. So you'll be asked to identify the line of best fit, but we can also use the calculator to get these lines. All right. So if we have a negative correlation, So in this case, as x increases, y decreases. So maybe your information is more or less like this. So x is increasing, so this guy is increasing, but these values are decreasing. So you've got points like this. So something of this nature. Now if you were to draw this line, You would have something maybe right here. So we are trying to look for the best line of fit, okay? Line of best fit, or it's called the trend line. So this is a negative correlation. X increases, Y decreases. And lastly, we have cases where there is no correlation. So no connection between the two variables. So for example, let's say if you get random placements. So sometimes it's increasing, sometimes it's decreasing. So I can't identify a line to represent this data. There's nothing significant about the data that I can uh, relate to. Therefore, I cannot say what my data is. So all mental data normally follows a scatter plot. And over time, we can conclude a relationship between the two variables that we are talking about. So we've got positive correlation. That looks more or less like this. Negative correlation, that looks more like this. And no correlation, which looks more like just randomness. So sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down. So there's no correlation between the two variables. Whenever we have any data set, we can make a scatter plot, sorry, make a scatter plot, and then we can draw a line to show the trend. So that's where you get the correlationship, positive, negative, or no correlationship. Once you identify that, then we can use two points to find the equation. The equation of the trend line. 
Now this is the same thing that we did earlier. Remember y is equal to mx plus b. So this is that idea or concept. Okay, and then step four is where we make predictions. So use the line to make predictions. All right, good luck.